Hi Bobcats! In this video we're going to take a look at the rate of reactions or how fast or how slow reactions take place. This field is known as kinetics. This is the list of objectives for this chapter. The way I'd really like for you to use it is as a checklist, like when you're getting ready for a quiz or a test that includes this chapter, such as exam one or the final exam. If you look at, say, um, the objective that says explain collision theory using appropriate terminology, you should be able to talk about things like steric factors and activation energy. Um, let's see, provide examples of both homogeneous and heterogeneous catalysts. So uh, you should be able to uh, talk about uh, catalytic hydrogenation as an example of heterogeneous catalysis. So this list of objectives is great for helping you figure out if you are ready for an exam or not. To help you with that, at the start of each lecture segment, I'm going to list the specific objectives that are covered in that lecture segment, and most of them revisit that at the very end. So just trying to be very um, thoughtful and very proactive about what our objectives are, and you need to uh, be very proactive about self-analysis. Are you getting these objectives or not? And if the answer is no, you're not, then you've got a little more digging to do. The reaction rate is the same thing as the speed of a reaction. For something that's a little bit more familiar, think about the speed limit on a road. The speed limit tells you the fastest you can drive on that road and not get a ticket. So for instance, in this sign, it's telling us that the speed limit is 85. That's in terms of miles per hour. So it's a distance traveled divided by the amount of time it takes to do it. So the, the speed is miles per hour. Well, when it comes to chemical reactions, the speed is given in molarity per second. And there are two different ways that we can write this. We can write this um, as molarity divided by seconds, but when we divide by something, that's the same thing as raising it to the minus one power. So you'll also see these units written as molarity times seconds to the minus one. Those two things mean the exact same thing. The two illustrations on this slide show the same overall chemical reaction, but happening at very different re reaction rates. The top image shows steel wool on fire, and the bottom image shows steel that has rusted. Both of these reactions are the oxidation of iron. The one in the top diagram occurs very rapidly, and the one in the bottom diagram occurs very slowly. There are many, many factors that affect the speed of a reaction. Uh, particle size is one. That's part of the difference in these two reactions. If you have something like steel wool, it has very small particles compared to one of these iron posts that has rested. So uh, the smaller the particle is, the faster it tends to react. Chemists most often characterize this in terms of surface area. If you think about the surface area of a bunch of steel wool, the say a pound of steel wool, its surface area is much greater than the surface area of one pound of iron in the form of a post. So um, a high surface area correlates with a small particle size and a faster reaction. If we're talking about reagents that are in solution, the concentration of the reagents also directly impacts the reaction rate. For instance, a 15 molar acid will eat away at a metal much more rapidly than a 0.1 molar acid. Temperature plays a role as well. When we cook, we're increasing the temperature to try to get the chemical reactions involved in cooking to happen fast enough to eat for dinner. 
And when we have leftovers, we stick them in the refrigerator at a lower temperature to try to slow down any sort of decomposition chemical reactions. The identity or the nature of the reactants also matters. We can oxidize iron and it goes uh, potentially very slowly in the form of rust. But if instead of iron, we try to oxidize something like hydrogen, well, that reaction goes a little bit faster. And last but not least, there's a catalyst. A catalyst is a chemical that we deliberately add to a chemical reaction to make it go faster.